I really like our team. Uh, I think um, they're close. They enjoy being around each other. They enjoy football. Um, we had a great camp. I think freshmen came in and, and merged right in with the guys that we have. So, yeah, and it's our largest roster. We're, we're still at 110. Um, we haven't had many guys hang it up. So, yeah, I, I think it's a it's a nice group of, of people, along with um, coaches who we have a nice mix of experience. My full time guys, I think we have 110 years experience coaching college football. You know, and I'm not making up that number. It's a lot of years. But then we have four former players helping us coach this year. Uh, Mike Amadio with the inside backers, Donald Day with the running backs, uh, Drew Saxton, who's coming back this week from Germany to take over the quarterbacks, and, and Zach Medved with the receivers. So um, that's helpful because th these guys know what our current team is going through as far as, you know, balancing football in school, and they know our system, and, and, and they're good people. So yeah, I, I'm excited about the team, and um, just general stuff uh, about us. I, I think defensively, I think we're gonna be really good. Um, you know, and offensively, I, I think once we get into game planning and putting certain people in, in the right positions, I I think we'll be able to move the ball and score points. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic, looking forward for the first test. I think they're picking up where they left off. Uh, the, 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 the major names are the same, you know, Toth and Cabrera at outside backer are, are going to be problems with their speed and athletic ability. Uh, Tong and Nadowski and Mike Kelly are formidable front three. Um, we have a very experienced secondary led by DJ Wolf. And um, yeah, I, I, I think it's it, it's the same names and, and they're playing at an even higher level because they have, I think they have a total understanding of, of what we're trying to accomplish defensively and what Coach Miller is is looking for. It just, experience makes a huge difference. It really does. You can just play faster because you can react quicker. You know what you're doing. It's going to be different for sure. The skill set of these quarterbacks are, are different than Drew. So we will be more quarterback run oriented, um, but that doesn't mean that we won't be able to throw the ball, but it might be different than the drop back style that we used with Drew. Um, it will be more of complementing what we're doing, running the ball and doing stuff off of those schemes, um, as opposed to just, okay, let's just drop back, stay in the pocket and, and spread the ball around the field. Um, I, I do think we have some guys that can make some plays, um, but it's just, you're just probably going to see a, a, a different game plan and a you know a different way to attack defenses um, than last year. Rhodes is, is going to be our punter, and we have two very uh, you know reliable and formidable freshman kickers that we're we're, we're going to let them out there first week. You're going to see a freshman kicking off. You're going to see a freshman. Um, kicking extra points and field goals. So how that'll work out, we're still kind of letting it play out. Um, but yeah, I think we do have depth uh, this year where in previous years we, we didn't. Um, and the return game, uh, again, I think you'll see some new faces back there, some freshmen um, that we were really happy with how they came in and how fast they were and some of the things that they can do uh, when they have the ball in their hands. So yeah, that, that will be, um, you know, I think, before, if we just still had the ball after a return, we were pretty happy. Uh, but I think this year, I think we can use it as a weapon. I think Teal is an improved football team and I hats off to their coaching staff. Uh, the big issue at Teal through the years has been player retention. And they've retained most of their players from last year. So they'll have another year of experience. Um, and I t I, when I saw them on film last year, I thought they were a well-coached team that did some things well. Um, so it will it will be a it will be a challenge at at Teal at night. Um, the visitors' uh, sideline is right next to a cemetery. Um, yeah, it's a very unique place to play. So, uh, but I think we're ready to play. Our, our guys are itching to play. We had two good scrimmages against some good teams, including John Carroll. Um, so we got a, a good test against one of the best teams in the nation, and I think physically we held up really well, to tell you the truth. So uh, I think we're itching to go, and um, you know, I think everybody's excited to, to get to Saturday night as quick as possible. I think the first thing would be staying healthy. Uh, I think that determines more than anything else. Your ceiling is, is can you keep your players healthy? And then how we play in big games. 
um, because we were inconsistent last year in big games. We had a, you know, an opener that that was a dud. We, we came back and beat a very good nationally ranked WJ team, and then lost a couple of close games. Um, so I, I think health and playing well in the big games, and you know, and, I, and usually what determines the winner in a big game is turnover margin. So you know, we were not great in the big games at that at all and in our defense if there's one thing that they still have to prove is that they can create turnovers because over the last two years we just haven't been able to do that I mean, they put up some great numbers last year but great defenses create turnovers and that's our expectation this year